In a game of professional chess, cheating is a punishable offense that often results in a 10 to 15 year ban from tournament play, or a lifetime ban if you've been extra naughty. In a game of married at first sight, MAFS, however, cheating is commonplace. It's almost as common as hitting the sensitive edges of the operation guy's chest while you try to pull out his heart or hatred between family members after a game of Monopoly. This year's MOFS is only two weeks in and already we have a whole smorgasbord of cheating drama. We've been served up so much goss, gaggery and tea from outside the show that it almost makes last year's season look like an empty kettle. Almost. Now to clarify one thing, while most of the events I am about to mention have been labeled as cheating scandals, not everyone here is technically cheating. A few of these newlyweds stuck their tongues down other people's throats after the show, which to us may feel like cheating, since we literally just saw them get married on TV, but to them feels like a casual Friday night at Ivy. What they're really guilty of is spoiling the damn show for us all, but hey, the big daddy bosses at Mops are already mad at them so, why should we be? This shit's entertaining as fuck. Claire Nomar has an Adam Seed, allegedly, according to some spicy tea leaked by anonymous sources, a cheating scandal is coming to Mops involving Claire Nomar has an Adam Seed. They apparently lie about going to go vape together and end up sharing a kiss off camera, which also pissed off the Mops bosses. Apparently, this then sends Claire's hubby Jesse Burford into an accusatory spiral, while the cheating couple gaslight him into thinking he was crazy for insinuating they ever kissed. Jesse and Claire have a huge screaming match, then Jesse storms up to Adam's room, bursts in, and starts abusing him, and a non moffs contestant told so dramatic. Jesse and Claire had a meeting about it during which Claire told Jesse his behavior was unacceptable and gaslit him. Adam laughed it off denied it, and made Jesse look crazy. Eventually, it comes out that they did kiss after they lied. They gaslighted the crap out of him and everyone turned on Jesse because of it. Which made the whole thing so much worse. Crikey. Dan Hunches and his new GF mobs Dan Hunches has made it no secret that he is now happily dating Gold Coast nurse Samantha Sims, who was at Dan's on-screen wedding as a friend. Yes, we just saw Dan get married to Sandy Jawanda. But I guess that doesn't matter now cause we know how that shit ends. That's okay, she deserves way better anyway. In pics obtained by the Daily Mail, the marketing tycoon was seen sipping on Marks and making out with Sims at the GC's Star Casino. There was also a video clip of them dancing to I Wanna Dance with Somebody, for some reason. Sims has since come out in defense of her new relationship by blasting her critics and the show on egg. Sadly people don't realize reality TV is anything but real. And it's not live television, she said in one comment. People need a life. Who cares about mops or this crap? Shannon Adams and his ex in huge grain of salt areas, it is rumored that personal trainer Shannon Adams is currently back with his ex Jama Drake, officially shacking up with her a few months ago. We're currently witnessing Shannon tell his mop's wife Caitlin McConville that he still has feelings for his ex of seven years, but it turns out the experiment might not work for him and he goes straight back to her. I'm still thinking about my ex. I hate the fact that I say this, but I still love her, he said on the show. I just feel like I'm leading two people on. In a message to the married at first sight uncensored Facebook page, Jama told fans of the show to leave her and her child alone. She also subtly implied that she and Shannon were trying to make it work again. Guys, I am the ex, you can all continue to comment about the people who, are, on the show, she wrote. God I don't care what you say about Shannon either he signed up for it and put himself there, but please leave me out of the negativity. Please remember me and my daughter are innocent, Sean and I have 7 years and a kid and lots of stuff happens behind the scenes, before and after. T. Josh White and Lyndall Grace Yep, alongside a cheating scandal, we allegedly have a couple swap scandal. Unfortunately for us though, none of the juicy bits will happen on screen, as this whole thing apparently began once filming wrapped up. Josh White, who is married to Melissa Shepard, and Lyndall Grace, married to Cam Woods, apparently hit it up after the show and even went to Perth recently for a romantic weekend. Well, I say romantic weekend and the Daily Mail who spilt the tea, said Secret Trist. Same same. Josh and Lindell were secretly hooking up for weeks, an anonymous cast member told the Daily Mail.
Things started when he told her he really liked her and felt like kissing her, and she said, well, go on then. After, the kiss, they would spend hours on the phone with each other every night and just got to really know each other that way. So that's a total of six couples from the show who don't last. We hate to see it, we really do. If you lust for more extramarital mops goss in your life, you can sign up for our mops newsletter or follow our podcast We've Done the Mops Right Here. Or, you can chuck it a listen below.